It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry. You smell amazing. Oh, uh, thank you. How old are you? I'm 16. Wow, look at your eyes. But look at him, look at him. what a beautiful face. Same French girl. Oh, yeah. Weird question. How did you not see that there was paparazzi there? <sighs> Apparently wanted to know what a beaver butt felt like. I feel violated right now. Justin Bieber has been touched, he's been pressured, and he's been exploited by Hollywood. Ever since he was a little kid, there have been people creeping on Justin. There are multiple moments where a vulnerable Justin Bieber is being taken advantage of in front of everyone. So let's get into it. Lately, I've been needing a good game to play, and Island Quest Away has been the best pastime. The game already has a lot of positive reviews. You guys can download the app using my link in the description below. But first off, the game starts with a shipwreck, and then pretty much the main hero, Emily, sails to this island with her assistant, Harrison. They're both looking for Emily's missing brother who's disappeared, but once they get to this island, they run into a lot of trouble and that's when you come in. You'll explore the island with Emily to find her missing brother. Along the way, you'll solve the mysteries of the island and collect ancient treasures. I like playing this game in my free time because there's a lot of opportunity. Like you can rebuild a farm along with Emily. This game offers events with unique decorations. You can even get a pink pony. And in this game, we take care of the animals and you can even breed them. So join the game now and you'll get 20 diamonds, 150 coins, and 230 energy points. Scan this QR code on the screen or follow the link in my description below to download the game and I'll see you in there. Thank you Island Quest Away for sponsoring this video and enjoy. There's no doubt in my mind that Justin Bieber has been exploited by the entertainment industry. He started at such a young age, and throughout his career, he's gone through some pretty traumatizing moments. It's hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. So there have been some viral clips going around of Justin being treated incorrectly as a minor. And today I want to break down those moments and explain to you what really happened. <laughs> wow. I feel violated right now. Justin has won and you can see her like look at him, grab him and he's immediately like uh no trying to get away from her and he even says like in this moment that he feels like violated like right now wow <laughs> uh first of all um last time I who apparently wanted to know what a beaver butt felt like what is up with these women who feel like they can just go and like touch this teenage boy? Like who does Katy Perry think she is grabbing his butt like that? And this is all on camera. So imagine how these people act in private. We've gotten a look into what they say in private and this article pretty much exposes L.A. Reid. Um, I mean, this man has been accused of a in the past so he doesn't seem innocent but uh it doesn't look good when you see him say that a 14 year old justin bieber was beautiful like a woman the huffington post reports that at several points in la reed's book he talks about meeting justin bieber and back in 2008 when usher brought the 14 year old singer to their office la reed's first thought was quote this kid was beautiful like a woman can be beautiful and men rarely are and he turned it on as soon as he stepped into the room what a 14 year old <laughs> 
he turned what on? I mean, I get it. Justin Bieber is a good looking man. But at this point, he's like a teenager. And L.A. Reid is talking about how he turns on his beauty when he walks into a room like a woman does. He recalls in detail how Justin grown out his hair, almost covering his eyes and says he could immediately see that Justin's hair would be every bit as important as his songs, his voice, his face, his presence justin was simply beautiful he gushes his superpower was his face i think at this point we get it justin bieber was a cute kid but where do you cross the line because there's a moment in an award show where it seems like james gordon crossed the line in my opinion can i say this lean into me again you smell amazing how old are you uh thank you how old are you I'm 16. I'll be 17 in like... He did not want to answer that at first. And you could tell the question made Justin uncomfortable because like, mm, where did that come from? And maybe James is trying to be funny, but which part of this entire scene is funny? Like two weeks. I don't ever remember smelling that good at 16. Like I was, that was bad. Yeah. Wow. Look at your eyes. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Look at him. Look at him. What a beautiful face. All right. James Gordon is such a creep. I do not like that TV host, and he just gives me bad vibes. He just kind of goes along with whatever he's told, like an industry plant. But it also seems like there are other TV hosts out here who feel like they can get handsy with Justin, which just isn't ever okay to touch anyone, let alone a minor. So maybe David Letterman is trying to be funny in that clip, but again, it's just kind of weird. And in hindsight, with everything that he, Justin Bieber, goes through, it's just disturbing to see that there's no safe place for him. You guys may know that he's publicly good friends with Ellen DeGeneres, who just doesn't seem like a good person. We've exposed Ellen before on my channel, and it seems like Ellen has exploited Justin Bieber more than anyone else. It is so weird to see Ellen speaking about Justin Bieber and his news and just putting him in this position where he's clearly uncomfortable. I found the full clip online, so let's go ahead and react to it together. Um, speaking of you and your underwear, let's talk about the, um, the paparazzi shot in Bora Bora. Okay. So you are obviously in a private bungalow. Yeah. And you, because usually we're all pretty good at spotting paparazzi. Yeah. They, they hide in boats yeah. and pretend to be fishermen. Yeah. And, and we're like, yeah. you're paparazzi. I mean, we, we're yeah. pretty good at it. How did you not see that there was paparazzi there? Well, I just didn't see them. I think I wasn't really looking out for them either, so. Was there a boat? After, when you think back on it now, can you see where they may have been? Um, were yeah, they I can, yeah, they're definitely in a boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And when, how quickly after that was shot did you realize that that happened? Did that go on wire right away? Uh, yeah, it was pretty much like a couple days, it was like a couple days later, Scooter hit me, he was like, yo, I hate to tell you this, but your penis is on the internet. Maybe he can laugh it off now, but it seems like he's just numb to this. Like, watching that video, I don't think he's, like, not bothered. I think he's probably really bothered with that. He's just numb, because at this point, like... It's almost like your body isn't yours because he's been on watch for so long. And there's also other moments I wanted to bring up where he is a young teenage boy being asked about sex and things that he really shouldn't be talking about with anyone besides his parents. Okay. So why don't you give me a sex talk? I, I really, I feel uncomfortable right now. Oh. Why do you want to know sex talk from a 15 year old boy? That's pretty weird. <laughs> Why does the 15-year-old boy have to make the statement that this is weird, that this is uncomfortable? And I, like, as someone who has interviewed a bunch of people for my podcast coming out very soon, um, I can't imagine, like, trying to make my guest feel super uncomfortable in the moment. Like, there's a difference between, like, asking them pointed questions or controversial questions, but asking a young boy about and having them trying to explain this to you, it just seems so intimate and you're taking a vulnerable person, a minor, and 
what? Like, for what reason? Do you think it's funny? I don't understand the point of it besides to try to push him to his limit to create good content, which ultimately is just exploiting him further. Here's another bizarre interview where the reporter has taken it too far. Like French girl. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, weird I'm glad that Justin brought his mother into the room at this moment because a lot of people are going to see these clips and ask where were his parents, but they were there, the media was just ruthless. Here are a few more uncomfortable clips from interviews Justin has done. I'm blasted, you know. You wanna say it again? You have beautiful lips. Oh, thank you, man. Thank <laughs> you, like, bro. Oh, you have great lips. Thank wow. you. Okay. Yeah, serious. You can clearly see in all of these moments that Justin is uncomfortable. And I'm sure there's so much more to his story. So if you guys want me to do a follow-up and talk about other moments that he has gone through, here's my email if you have any other video ideas for me. But there's also another moment I'd like to share because I believe that Justin is overprotective of Billie Eilish because of what he's gone through in his past. I mean, I don't even think that. He's said that for himself. I just want to protect her, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want her to go through anything I went through. Justin Bieber doesn't want Billie Eilish to lose it like he did. I don't wish that upon anybody. Yeah, if she ever needs me, I'm, I'm just a call away. I'm glad that Billy has that support because I'm sure that Justin's been to hell and back being in the industry. But here's my email if you guys have any other video ideas for me, and I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.